Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of Pluto and why it is no longer considered a planet. This tiny celestial body has sparked a lot of debate and curiosity over the years. So let's uncover the details behind its reclassification. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory. At the time, it was hailed as the ninth planet in our solar system, a significant addition to our understanding of the cosmos. For 76 years, Pluto was known as the smallest and furthest planet from the sun. Its unique orbit and small size made it an intriguing member of our planetary family, though it always stood out as an oddity compared to the other eight planets. In the 1990s, astronomers began discovering other small, icy objects beyond Neptune in a region known as the Kuiper Belt. These discoveries raised questions about Pluto's status because these objects were similar in size and composition to Pluto. The pivotal moment came in 2006 when the International Astronomical Union, IAU, redefined the criteria for classifying planets. According to the IAU, a celestial body must meet three criteria to be considered a planet. First, it must orbit the sun. Second, it must be spherical in shape, meaning it has sufficient gravity to pull itself into a round shape. Third, and most crucially, it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto meets the first two criteria. It orbits the sun and is spherical. However, it does not meet the third criterion. Pluto shares its orbital zone with other objects in the Kuiper belt, meaning it hasn't cleared its neighborhood of other debris. As a result, the IAU reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. This category includes other similar-sized objects in the Kuiper belt, such as Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, which also don't clear their orbits. This reclassification was significant for astronomers because it refined our understanding of what constitutes a planet and brought more precision to the study of our solar system's architecture. The decision to reclassify Pluto was met with mixed reactions from the public and scientific community. Some people were nostalgic and disappointed while others appreciated the clarity it brought to planetary science. Despite its demotion, Pluto remains an object of great interest. NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015 provided stunning images and valuable data about Pluto, revealing its complex geology and atmosphere. Pluto's story is a reminder that science is always evolving. As we learn more about our universe, classifications and understandings may change. Pluto may no longer be a planet but it still holds a special place in our hearts and in the study of our solar system. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.